Hey, 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 Med School Made Easy. Today we're going to talk about the uh, interesting early repolarization phenomenon known as an Osborne wave, or as a J wave that's uh, classically seen in hypothermic patients. It's first discovered, or at least first described by Dr. Osborne, who made dogs hypothermic and then hooked them up to an ECG trace. Uh, in any case, this usually becomes clinically apparent on ECGs if the patient is less than 32 degrees Celsius, 9 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, the size matters. The size of the J wave correlates with the degree of hypothermia, so as a patient's body temperature gets lower, their J wave will get bigger. Um, there's absolutely no prognostic value in this. I don't really know why we care, but we do care and people talk about it a lot. Let's see. It improves almost uniformly with rewarming. The causes, obviously, are hypothermia, like we talked about. It can also just be an idiopathic variant. It can be caused by medications, um, high calcium, or fibrillation patterns. Um, so let's get down to it. Um, this is usually going to be seen in your precordial leads, which are V1 to V6 along the precordium or the anterior chest. Uh, your normal <coughs> is going to be you know, your little P wave, your Q, R, S, T. Right, that's normal. Now this phenomenon is often mixed up with something called ST elevation that can be seen in uh, myocardial infarction and ischemia leading to heart muscle death, etc. What this looks like is P, Q, R, S, T. So this is that ST segment, and it's elevated. What a J wave looks like P, Q, R, or a turn down a J point and over to your T wave. So this, if you take from here to here, you can see that it kind of looks like a J, hence the name a J wave or an Osborne wave. Osborne for the name, J for the shape. Um, this return down uh, with early repolarization can be called uh, the J point. The degree of J point, the size, uh, is important, like I talked about earlier, for uh, correlates with the degree of hypothermia. And so in any case, when you see that G J wave returns down, comes back up, and then J's, um, usually it's more of a finer point than that, you know, on a real EKG. That can tick you off that or tip you off that this patient is in uh, you know hypothermia, having an Osborne wave. All right, thank you.